This problem is for you folks to try. I'm giving you this equation right here. It describes some relationship between x and y. I have no idea what the graph of that looks like. And really, if I wanted to get a sense of that, I'd probably rely on technology. But whatever it looks like, if I'm just looking at and near a particular point, probably that section of curve, just locally, just that little section, not the whole thing necessarily, but just the section right at and near a point, will pass the vertical line test so that y is implicitly a function of x, and that relationship is encoded in this equation. What you're tasked with doing is finding an equation of the tangent line at this point, when x, y is 1, 2. What I had to do there is specify the x and the y value of the point. When I have a function, if I know the x value, that uniquely determines the y value. So when we're working with functions, I usually just give you the x value. If we're working with curves that may or may not be functions, then I've got to specify x and y. You know that to find a tangent line, you need two things, a point and the slope. Here's the point. The whole thing is given to you. What you're going to need to do is use implicit differentiation to get a formula for y prime, or the slope of the tangent line at a point, and then to find the slope of this particular line, you'll plug in the point 1, 2. So go ahead, pause the video, work that out. Once again, I kind of like to put the y in parentheses here. That just helps me remember that that's different from my variable x. That's representing some function of x. Often that's going to be the inside part in a function composition, although it's possible that I just have some copies of that function as well. Once again, this equation is saying this function of x equals that function of x, so I know that their derivatives should be the same. This is an exponential function of x. So all I'm doing is taking the derivative using my exponential rule. I know I'm getting a multiple of that same exponential function, but because the base isn't e, the constant that I'm multiplying by is the natural log of that base. Here, this is an exponential function, but it's an exponential function of y. So this is going to be chain rule because y is the inside part. So this will be that same exponential function, 3 to the y, multiplied by the natural log of 3. The constant that I multiply by is always the natural log of the base. That's just the derivative of the exponential part. Chain rule multiplied by the derivative of the inside part, which will be a y prime. That's going to equal. Here I have five copies of y. When I take the derivative, that's going to give me five copies of y prime. And 3 is just a constant, so that drops out. Quick check. I had two y's in the original formula. I've got two y primes when I'm done taking the derivative. That matches. I'm going to move this term, which has a y prime in it, over to this side. So natural log of 2 times 2 to the x will equal 5y prime minus the natural log of 3 times 3 to the y times y prime. And since now there's a y prime in both terms, I can factor that out. So natural log of 2 times 2 to the x equals y prime times 5 minus the natural log of 3 times 3 to the y. As long as this isn't 0, I can divide by it. And I get y prime is the natural log of 2 times 2 to the x over 5 minus natural log of 3 times 3 to the y. Okay, that's my formula for the slope of the tangent line. I want to now get the equation for this tangent line. So the point was given. The slope, make sure that's y prime evaluated at 1, 2. The slope of a line is a constant. It's just a number. That's not a number. 
that's a really messy formula for some thing, which probably implicitly is a function, but may itself not be a function. I need to plug in 1 for x and 2 for y. So this is the natural log of 2 times 2 to the first over 5 minus the natural log of 3. Oh, and I'm sorry. I'm realizing I meant this to be 1, 0. I'm going to adjust that. I apologize. Here's what's happening. If I plug in 1 for x and 0 for y, this becomes 2 to the first is 2, 3 to the 0 is 1, 2 plus 1 is 3. 5 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. 1, 0 is on this curve. 1, 2 isn't. Because that would be 2 to the first is 2, plus 3 squared is 9, 2 plus 9 is 11, 5 times 2 would be 10 plus 3 is 13. Okay? So what I had written here was, you know, the whiteboard version of a typo. That was a point that actually wasn't on the curve. This is a point that actually is on the curve. I had thought that and somehow I had just written 1, 2. Ugh. Okay. Um, let's see. So 5 minus natural log of 3 times 3 to the y is going to be 3 to the 0. So let's see, 2 to the first is just 2, so that's 2 natural log of 2 over 5 minus the natural log of 3, because 3 to the 0 is just 1, times natural log of 3 is natural log of 3. Excellent, so that's my slope. So then to get my equation for the line, I'm just going to use point slope form. So rise is equal to slope times run. Rise is going to be y minus 0. Slope is 2 ln 2 over 5 minus ln 3 times the run is x minus 1. So that's just y equals this lovely number, which is our slope, times x minus 1. Excellent.